What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube, Stream Bean, and this is going to be a fun uh, video right here. All this stuff that you see, all these bags, boxes, it was all free. A lady posted on Facebook that she had bags of toys and random stuff that she was just going to throw away if anybody wanted it to come pick it up off the side of her road. And that's exactly what I did. So I think it would be fun if we go through this stuff together and see if there's anything in here worth the damn. So sit back and relax. Let's check it out. So ignore all that stuff in the back. That's just random packaging material, clothes, hangers, empty boxes, that sort of thing. If you got a, a resale business, you know exactly what that stuff is. Um, but first thing I grabbed here, we got some floor puzzles. These are obviously pre-owned and open. The good thing about these is it's not you know 100, 200 piece puzzles. They're they're you know they're small accounts. As long as both of these are complete, and they're not missing any. Uh, I could probably lot that up, maybe get five, ten bucks worth if they if they cover shipping. Obviously, because that's going to be heavy. Uh, I, can't, I can't sell these things for new price. Even new, these aren't worth that much, but 5 or $10 for the pair plus shipping on top. That's an easy listing. Um, I don't have to do nothing too crazy, so not bad for those. Next up, we got this Play-Doh metallic and neon color pack. Play-Doh stuff can sell okay if you have like the actual sets. You know, you have all the molds and the little attachments and whatnot. Uh, Play-Doh itself, even the new tubes, they, it doesn't sell for that much. So if you have a bunch of tubes, you can sell it, but you're not going to make much of anything off of it. Uh, and this just appears to be uh, used tubes. And if the colors aren't mixed, I might be able to lot them up. But there is some more Play-Doh stuff here we're going to look at. But the only thing in there is just, just tubes. So in this bag, I'm not going to take everything out. I'm just going to try to show you is all the accessories so i'm thinking of a very nice play-doh lot um as long as it's not too beat up and disgusting play-doh can be pretty grimy stuff to deal with uh there's some empty tubes in there and some molds um the one thing that i like to do with a lot of stuff like this is i will you know charge for shipping i'll weigh this out box it and everything have my pictures set and just start the auction low if it goes anywhere awesome they're covering shipping i'm not losing anything it's just the time of putting all this stuff out um, so remember like Play-Doh stuff can do okay as long as you got the sets and you know the accessory go with it and that, That's what it looks like is in a lot of this bag After the strap broke because Play-Doh is pretty heavy stuff I saw this big guy right here like immediately whenever I got all these bags I actually sent my wife to pick this stuff up I was at home working and I said honey there's a uh, lady putting all this stuff out inside of the road Go pick it up and we'll see if there's anything in there uh, worth anything And when she brought it this was the first thing that I saw some sort of transformer Style guy he takes batteries. His head doesn't really work properly. His little drill does. Um, I'll see if there's any similar toys. I put batteries in him to see if he works. He might. He might do something. I have no idea. Uh, but toys like this, if you can't sell them, you know, online, they're great for the flea market. Like things like this are absolutely perfect. Two or three dollars at a flea market, some kid will come up there with his little allowance and he will buy the hell out of that. Um, I see it all the time. Um, toys, big toys that don't sell for anything, take them to the flea market, take them to, if you're having a yard sale, put a big, you know, dollar, two dollar price tag on them and they will move. Now this thing right here is going to be automatic trash. I can already see that. It's some sort of like basketball mini game. I don't, I don't think there's going to be like any accessories or if it's going to be really worth anything separate, but you can see the cords were spliced there. I could fix that easily, but to ship that and I'm sure it's broken this is this is probably just going to be trash and that's what a lot of this stuff is I, I can't sell everything in here there's I could probably maybe sell like 20% of the slot it's either going to be me having to donate this stuff back to a thrift store or just toss it out and I think that is just going to get tossed out and that's kind of the the sucky side of, of dealing with stuff like this is you're going to be getting other people's junk uh but one man's trash is another man's treasure ignore this this is believe it or not this is from my label printer but I like to recycle everything, so anytime you know I have a string of labels that I print for sales, I save this. This is excellent packaging material, and I just kind of throw it in the corner with the other random packaging material. You know, it's this box filler. It's good to have. That way you're not using precious bubble wrap. So we have this helmet, which is going to be worthless. This is going to be worthless. I don't, I don't think I can do anything with that. Uh, it's used, beat up, dirty. Um, I could check on it. Oh, it's cracked. I'm just going to toss it. I'm going to have a box here for trash. 
uh, trash or things to donate and then, you know, go through it all later. All right, we got us another toy of some sort. See, I don't know anything about toys. I know there's probably people watching me and you don't know who that is. I couldn't tell you. Toys are my specialty. Video games are the, are the one thing that I know. Uh, but he appears to be intact. Nothing's broken or missing. And he's light enough to be a first class unit, which is very nice. Uh, so cool. We got to check him out later. We got the classic whoopee cushion well beyond its means. It has been whoopied out. Uh, definitely, definitely a goner. This is a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, little like backpacks or not a backpack, but it's like a little costume accessory here. If this was closer to Halloween and they're like that there was like the full set in here, it might be holding on. Costumes can do pretty well only like one time a year for me. Uh, but I, I don't know. I'll, I'll put that into the box and if I if I come across some more accessories, it, it might be laudable. Um, I think it's going to be donatable more than anything. There's so much randomness in this bag. This is, what, I don't know what is this, like an ant, an anteater, an art bark, something like that. Uh, missing the battery cover. I don't think I could do anything with that. Uh, definitely going to be a trash pile for him. I'm, I'm, there's probably things I'm putting in this box here like, oh my god, you shouldn't have done that. But hey, that's the thrill of the hunt. Hey, hey we got some Lego stuff. I don't know what this was or what it was trying to be. But I'll check the bottom of the bag, and even if it's obviously not going to be a complete set, I'll look for the figures, and then I'll just I'll keep a box of just random Lego. You can sell that stuff by the pound, and whenever I have enough, I usually sell it off. And it looks like that probably where that's going to go. But uh, we'll keep digging. Check them out. We got a little devil mask here. Oh, feels sticky. But I think these masks just like kind of naturally feel sticky. Dealing with kids, man, they they spill all sorts of liquids on themselves. Um, I'll actually probably hold on to that and since it's so small I can bundle that up and put it up till Halloween and I might be able to get like five bucks for them uh, Shipping on top. Maybe uh, we'll just have to see Halloween always spikes sales and crazy stuff like this Looks like we got more It's like a Batman cape maybe a Little hood or something. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's just like a little cape again. That's not terrible. Well, it's that quality is kind of rough. It's got some stain uh if I have enough of this stuff, I might be able to make like a costume lot, um, just random stuff, and uh, you know, parents will buy it for their kids, and this is kind of like a heyday sort of thing. Um, and I'm, I don't know, I might be able to get a little something for it, maybe. Oh, this is cool. Here we go. Oh, it's multi-sided. Oh goodness. Ah, except it's got it's got a worn strap here. I can see from the safety pin. You got the Superman on the back, and then Batman on the other side. Oh, that thing's that thing's pretty dirty. I don't I don't know about that. I don't know what the hell this is. Is this like some sort of... This is like some weird connected set. I don't know what kids get into nowadays. Look at that. It's like some sort of track or something. I have no idea. That's the weirdest thing about looking at toys nowadays. I don't have kids, so I don't keep up with them. And like some of the toys these kids got nowadays are unreal. Alright, so I went through everything else in this bag. is just like random broken pieces or just little things that are just unidentifiable. Uh, but I'll show you some cool stuff that I picked up. So the rest of everything in here, there's a broken flashlight, like a fidget spinner that's been spun out that won't even spin no more. Just just stuff in here is, is, is just straight up trash. So I was able to find some more random Lego pieces as well as one figure, which was very nice. I didn't expect to see any figures. Uh, but that gives me hope for this other bag. Uh, so we do have one figure there you can see pretty cool and there was this little guy here which i don't think is anything but he's just good to have whenever you do go to the flea market and you got that toys box toss him in there for a buck and uh, this this was neat i just it, it's cool what you know kids have you know you never you never know i can't remember how you pronounce these uh an, an amethyst rock maybe uh but it's just you know a little crystallized rock that's you know cut in half you can see all the little crystals in there as well and i just thought that was neat i'll put that on my desk all right, next up we got this big final bag here, and uh, I'm actually starting to lean towards that costume lot because I'm finding a lot of that in here. And if I can take all the costume pieces, uh, they, they won't be the most fun to picture. Just kind of have everything, uh, you know, a generic description. Things are going to have, you know, you know, expect some stains somewhere. Uh, maybe put like a $20 price tag on it or something. It depends because this looks like there's going to be a lot of that in here. Uh, that may be the route to go. Yeah, especially, you know, we got like a Superman cape. I don't know how well that's going to pick up, but I think that's going to work out really nice. Depending on all what I got in here, these these capes could even go by themselves. You know, like a, a cape lot. Who knows? Uh, Batman cape. 
And that one's not in bad condition, so these these kids definitely like to uh, dress up, which is cool. That's just horrifying. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what type of dinosaur this is, or if it was, if it was from anything specific. Uh, but he's missing the top half of his head. That's that's creepy. <laughs> that's good. Oh, he's missing his arms. So he's junk all the way. But that's that's just an odd sight to see. So this is neat. We got a jelly cat uh, stuffed plushie here. Uh, some sort of dog um, in fairly decent shape. Actually, I don't see any stains. He's got some like random fibers. Plushies are a very hit or miss sort of of item. They they can take up a lot of room. They don't sell for crazy amounts, and they can take a long time to sell. This one, however. For, for being an actual uh, a jelly cat, I, I'm going to hold on to him and I'll probably list him. So that's not a bad find at all. Um, I might be able to score maybe 10 or 15 bucks out of him. Here is a, another costume. It's a uh, it's just like a straight up camouflage little outfit here. It's got some tears, but I'm really starting to lean towards that costume lot. Uh, it's kind of like a ghillie suit almost. I will not really. It's just more camouflage than anything. Uh, but that camo lot, or not camo lot, but the... Um, Costume lot's looking, looking pretty decent. It seems like there's just a bunch of stuff, uh, things like this right here. I can put all this together and, uh, um, and just kind of lot it all up together and see if we can't go from there. But little things like this, uh, we can go a long way. Here it is. We got some sort of remote control vehicle here. There might be the, there might be the uh, the remote inside. And uh, if that works, that might be more of a flea market item than anything. Like a $3 remote control car to sell there. For the wheels, oh yeah, I don't, I don't even think the wheels turn. This is one of those, it, it might be trash more than anything. Check this out, we got an m M&M candy fan. Just hooked a battery into it and it is a working good. That's an easy $10, which I actually kind of got the back off of it. Uh, just because I, I don't want to leave the battery in there for when I sell it. I don't sell things with batteries in them typically. I always say batteries not included, but... Uh, that's not a bad little find in this bag. Here is that remote for that uh, that vehicle. What well, it's missing the back. Um, I don't know. I may get around to testing that. I'll probably just end up donating that honestly, uh, and I'll tape it together or wrap it together so when they when it actually does get donated, they can see everything together versus trying to sell that stuff individually, which a lot of times they do. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. Just found him. Uh, it's got batteries in them already. Oh yeah, very cool. Good little find in the bag for sure. This is just neat. You put this into, uh, I, I guess you, this, this would be for the bathtub. Pull that and it probably like swims. Kids have the craziest toys nowadays. Back in our day, we just, you know, we, we threw the soap across the water and pretended it was a duck. Now they got things like this. For me, that'd be more of uh, probably a yard sale or a flea market sort of item. I'll check it out, look it up, but I don't think that's going to be worth much of anything. But it's just neat. I got a bunch more of this stuff, which I still don't know what it is. I got to kind of look it up and see if it's anything. Uh, maybe I can sell it all as a lot. It looks like some sort of like track or something like. That's what I think it is, like some sort of track for like some sort of vehicle. I got to look it up. Hey, we got a, uh, what is it, like a stegosaurus. Uh, not missing his tail, so it's kind of like just worn, or maybe that's just how it is. Um, if I find more dinosaurs in there like this, this will make a excellent lot, and uh, that that will that will do well. It won't be expensive, but it'll just be another ten, fifteen dollar uh, come up, which is real nice. Just digging randomly in here, I found sixteen cents, so we're we're already on we're already on the up and up. Uh, I'm just pulling out the cars now, and if there's any figures worth anything, I'm pulling those. Uh, but hey, another cool little figure to find in there. A lot of this stuff I'm seeing is going to be more whenever I go to the flea market and just unload it all cheap. Some of this stuff is going to be listable, which is very nice because always remember, I didn't pay anything for all this. This was just all free. So this is a day where I didn't really plan on doing listings or anything. So this is just kind of, I didn't have to source. The source is already here. It's not extreme come ups or anything, but again, it didn't cost anything. So the margin, even if it's small, I mean, it, 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 there is no margin. It's just all profit. Cool little find in here is a little 1992 Bugs Bunny car. Uh, in decent shape. This actually appears to be selling anywhere from five to ten bucks. So very cool. Found one Pokemon card in there, but God Almighty, it's a 2016, and there's—I mean, that's just pure trash. There's nothing you can do. But it's been nice to find a stack of 95s in there or something. I've been finding these sidewalk chalks. Um, 
Is that like Marvel characters on there? Uh, not used that much. Some of them are. How do you even get these things out? But this would be like something I'd wrap up, put like a dollar at a, at a flea market or something. I find more obvious. I mean, that's just, you got to think of it like that. Lots are your best friend when it comes to stuff like this. More Lego pieces. This guy is missing his uh, hand and his legs, but we're, we're finding more stuff in here. Hopefully there's going to be a lot more figures. It's always a good day if you can find a maraca of some sort. A better day when you find two. Alright guys, so everything else in that bag is just randomness. There's, there's, you know, it's broken pieces or just, just random things that I can't identify. I went ahead and pulled out some of the cars. And that's like all from like a majority are like a Disney's cars. Which is nice that, that from the movies I could maybe lot those up or sell them at the flea market. A whole bunch of costume stuff, so that may make a pretty decent lot. But if we look over here, as you can see, this is just all random stuff that I might assist. I gotta actually get that out of here. But just uh, this track too probably isn't worth anything. I just kind of wanted to check because it's really light, and there may be somebody out there that wants to buy a good bit of track. Who knows? Uh, but there's some decent stuff in here. Obviously, I'm not gonna make hundreds of dollars on this stuff, but I'm making money that I did not have, and all this stuff was free. It didn't cost me anything. I also got that big uh, box of Lego, or not Lego, but um, all the Play-Doh stuff down here. Oh, I gotta repaint this thing. Is I put so much work on this table, it's it's unreal. But I love it for whenever I do my picturing. Uh, I mean, I keep all sorts of whatnot in here, but it has taken its toll uh, but as you can see a bunch of random stuff here that i got didn't have to do anything if, if the only work that i really gotta do other than listing or take this stuff to the flea market is take the junk to the dumpster and take whatever i can't sell and donate it but the moral of this story of this video is you can find money out there people give it away all the time don't let this stuff go to waste don't let it be thrown away uh, pick it up sell it if, regardless a lot of this stuff is really good for the flea market um, some of this stuff I'll be able to list online so didn't cost me anything and I'm making money on top of it